The lighting management software allows you to create occupancy detection profiles. An occupancy detection profile determines how a sensor should operate controlled lighting loads. The profile contains information on the light level to trigger for occupancy and transition durations and light levels for area vacancy. In my facility, I want to create a profile for all sensors located in individual offices. To create the profile, in the Occupancy Detection module, I'll click on the Add Profile button at the bottom of the profile list, and then give my profile a descriptive name. Once I've named my profile, I'm ready to start configuring the sensor settings. For maximum energy savings, I want the sensor to operate at all times, so I'll uncheck the option to disable the sensor during the day. Next, I'll define the light levels. Upon vacancy, the fifth light system allows you to step light levels down gradually, preventing abrupt changes in light level and promoting additional energy savings during longer timeout periods. I'll define the sensor steps for the light levels I want by activating the checkboxes next to the step I'm working with. I'll adjust the level and timer settings that I want, and then select the Update button. I'll repeat this process for each of the steps that I want to use. In the fifth light system, occupancy detection and scheduling profiles interact to dynamically change the light level that triggers upon initial detection. During the darker morning hours, I want the office lighting to trigger to 50%, but in the afternoon when it's brighter, I want to trigger to a 30% level to maximize my energy savings. First, I'll define a schedule profile with these transitions and then I'll use my Threshold field to create these dynamic changes. With my Threshold at 10%, my Stage 1 light level will only be issued if the Scheduled Transition level is below this, such as what I have programmed on the nights and weekends. If my Scheduled Transition level is higher than the Threshold, the Occupancy sensor triggers the Scheduled light level instead of the Stage 1 level. For additional savings, the occupancy sensor settings can be different from daytime to nighttime and from weekday to weekends. At night and on the weekends, I may want to shorten the timeout period of the sensors so that brief occupations by cleaning crews or by the employee coming in to grab a file do not result in unnecessary energy waste. During commissioning, the commissioning technician will create groups of lighting for each area in the facility that needs to operate from an occupancy sensor. The technician will also associate each lighting group with the appropriate sensor or sensors that will operate this space. To apply my profile to these groups, I'll select the Profiles and Groups tab. I can pick my office sensor profile and then choose the office groups to apply. Because I've used this common profile, if I want to change the control strategy at a later date, it's easy for me to make a change. Simply apply the change to the profile, and any group that's attached to this profile will respond with a new setting.